Oh! Oh, come on, really? We got killed by the 254? Well, hello there and welcome back to the channel, it's your host Koval here and today we're going to play the Oliphant MK2. So, it's basically an upgraded Oliphant MK1 with new armor layout all around the turret and the hull, new fire control system and, well, new sights for the gunner and the commander. It all started around the 90s when Africa was looking for a new MBT after the lessons they learned from the border war. They had an option to buy the French IMX 56 Leclerc with some tropical upgrades to suit the African conditions more of course, or the British Challenger 2E. But it turned out that other branches of African military uh, had to be upgraded first and got the priority over the new MBT program, so the African army turned the offers down and went to upgrade their existing Oliphants. Their main threat was that surrounding countries could acquire T-72Ms uh, as the Berlin Wall fell down and Russia was mass exporting their military equipment all around the world basically so the new or well upgraded Oliphants were expected to deal with T-72Ms in case of a conflict and in total 26 MK2 Oliphants were built since 2005 year while 22 of them are in storage 4 of them are used for training and that's basically it from cool features, this tank has a hunter-killer mode which enables the commander and gunner to hunt for targets independently to maximize effectiveness of the 105 cannon. Also worth mentioning we have here a new engine that has a turbocharged V12 diesel that outputs 1040 horsepower. And now, from the game point of view. This tank is pointless. And here's why. Just as I said, this tank is an upgraded old Oliphant MK1. And the Oliphant MK1 is basically an upgraded Centurion. As much as I love Centurions, this, is, this MK2 is just not enough to have a lot of fun. First of all, it was designed only to face the Soviet tanks and in this game we're going to face Leopards, XM1s, even an Abrams because we might get up here to 10.3 and that tank was never designed to do it. Of course in game we have a proper uh, shell to deal with that, the DM63 that can, well, well it's enough to get the job done if you have a good aim, but that's basically it. Why it's so pointless? Look at this. Look at this and tell me what do you see. There is not a single other machine on 9.3 battery rating in the British Tech Tree, so this guy is a lone wolf here, and that's that's the most pointless thing on this uh, well, basically top tier here that you can take because compared to the Chieftain MK10 on 9.0, that the 9.0 8.7 8 9.0 creates a pretty decent lineup and we're going to get there in a second. Let's just look at the Chieftain MK10. What do we have here? We have a 120 mil cannon that shoots, that shot L23, that is an AP FSDS uh, shell that can go through a nice amount of armor. Not as good in penetrating angles as the uh, DM63 from the 105, but this 120 is enough, absolutely enough to, to destroy everything in one shot. Also what we have on the Chieftain MK10, we have a pretty well armored turret with a sloped armor all over it. We have the extra additional armor here above this uh, this place and well this is a hull down beast, absolute hull down beast. Even on full up tier to 10.0 you can still stand your ground pretty efficiently if you go hull down. But the Ophian MK2 is like... Why? <laughs> Just why would you use this tank on 9.3 battery rating? There's no point in taking it to any lineup because 9.7 is pretty good. You have the Chelly MK2, the Chelly MK3, then you have the TTD here. That's actually pretty decent. You have the Stormer, you have the ZDA 35 as, as an anti-air. That, that's all you need for that lineup. 
there's no point in taking taking this guy as backup you already have three main battle tanks on 9.7 and this guy is on 9.3 and and it doesn't really have any any armor the toughest places on this guy are actually here on the cheeks as you can see armor dimension at that point is pretty okay you can bounce something but why would anyone shoot you here when can when they can just go here and that's not even a 300 mil armor there right of course below that there's still the old centurion uh, turret there but that's well that doesn't give a lot of armor there in total everything is going to pen you from the uh, from the from the cheeks unless then they will hit you here and <laughs> Well, that covers only the top part of the turret. Here is a pretty <laughs> big weak spot right here, as you can see. There's there's nothing here to protect your turret at any point. And the extra composite screen on the front plate is also pretty useless at, at that battery rating. Of course, there's the extra armor plate below it. And, and well, that's it. But why would anyone go for that? When they already can see that plate, they can go just through here. Or just through here, probably. So, so that's pointless, <laughs> right? So uh, this armor has some good values, but it's it has a lot of holes in it and a pretty big ones too. Well, we have the new engine, right? But this this beast is 60 tons, so that's not a lot of horsepower. The neutral drive is pretty trash, and well, it can go forward and backwards pretty fast, but that's all, well not like super fast. On 9.3, that's nothing special. But at least it can get around somehow okay. So the main features of this thing are the fact that the gunner and the commander have a thermal sight. So that's pretty okay. And you have the DM63. That These are all the cons of this thing. And this is just not enough to have fun with this vehicle. At least not in my eyes. There's, As I said, there's no point. There's nothing else to take with you. To the battle you don't want to up to up tier your 9.0 lineup to the 9.3 because 9.3 will get up tiered to 10.3 often or 9.7 on 10.0 a lot of times and 9.0 lineup not so much actually oh i also forgot you have the weak vickers mk7 there for 9.7 so you, are, so you already have four mbts actually here and there's no point in taking an Oliphant MK2 as a backup, as a fifth tank. And you also don't want to take it for the 9.0 lineup because, as I said, what's the point, guys? What's the. This is. I can tell you this, all of this, because I already played it. I tried to play it like through 10 or more, or, or maybe like 12 rounds. And it's, it's just not fun. We have a long reload rate here. Chieftain MK10 has a better reload rate for the 120. So. So 105 here is, is not even reloading that good. So this is a pretty trash vehicle. I have to say this is the first Centurion in the game, Centurion based tank, that I absolutely don't like. I, I never even thought I'm going to say something like this, but this is the first Centurion based tank that I don't like to play. There's no reason to play it. It's a cool addition, of course, an interesting vehicle, that's for sure, but it's just... Just jump from this to this and you will be and that will be much better for you than than using the Olifant MK2 trying to spade it or something and ju just jump from this guy to this guy right away. Don't even bother playing this guy. So with all that in mind, I think I, I, I said everything I wanted to say. Look how I will suffer playing this guy. And I hope you'll have a good time. I had not such a good time. Alright, so, anyway, without further ado, let's jump to the first round. Oh, come on! I got trapped by a tank trap. That's unlucky. Welcome to Berlin, by the way. We're moving through the middle, I hope. Through this part. Oh, sorry for that. <laughs> My fat fingers got in the way. Wait, this guy's still alive? Nah, that was just a lag. Cause he was still moving on my screen. Oh, engine. Oh, that's a uh, turms over there, and we can go through the through the building, I think. Yeah, there we go. Another critical hit. Maybe here. That's a hit somewhere. Alright, so I guess here and a little bit lower. That should be... Yeah. 
Can we go a little bit lower? Like this? Nope, I, we cannot. Alright, let's go. Kill assist, someone got him. I will drop one more just to be sure, man. Just to be sure. Alright! Well, we're gonna assist. In this strange... Strange way. Have a guy over here, even. Really that close? That guy over there is dead. That guy over there is still moving. Well, not anymore. This guy is probably dead that was behind here. This is intense, but just a little bit. Hey, there's a guy right there. Can I go get him through the building? I don't think so. That would be kind of crazy, wouldn't it? Oh, hello. Alright, we stayed here for too long, that's for sure. This is a pretty unsettling setup. And I'm too scared even to move at this point. Should I be scared or should I move? Should I be scared or should I move? Oh. It's good we didn't move to Bravo. Come on, Super Mysterio, you got him. We have a, a guy on my right and there's a guy right below us. Pretty sure about that. Hey, we have a nice window here. <laughs> This guy's dead, also. There's not a lot of going on here. Let me check the left side. Seems clear. Alright, so now we just know that there's a guy below us on Bravo. Right there. A BMP1? Or what the hell is this? Alright, let's rush a little bit. Oh, I, I I did press the button, but it just didn't... Well, alright. <laughs> Where did he go through? Through the side armor? Or... Yeah, side armor, sadly. Oh, that's a headshot over there. <laughs> that didn't went that well. So, welcome everybody to Normandy. I always go to fight in the city, so this time I'm going to move to Charlie. I have a terror to check there, and yeah, I want to check it now. Oh, hello there. I already seen one guy. And my terror says we can see into Bravo from here, into the monument. If I recall correctly, oh, this guy had a bad time. Let's just back up a little bit. And this guy got hit on my right side? Holy sh... Holy moly! I guess I'm right. Check this out. Another pretty nice view. Let's kill this tree first. Exciting. How far is that? No. How far is that? No. How far is that? What? What are you ranging, computer? Oh, so the mo monument is uh, in uh, <laughs> another realm. Seems like. Alright, 400. Let's go with the red scope here. And let's just drop one into this guy. Now he just have to run away, right? There's nothing else you can do. Or, yeah, there was nothing else you can do. But that's a nice position, I have to say. So, remember, guys, if you have a problem on the monument over there, with people camping, you can go get them from your side, fr from their side, from here. You're pretty covered here, also. That's good. Good to know. I wouldn't call it exciting, but, well... Oh, good. 
that guy. I'm afraid that there is an air tree coming for me, probably. And, well, yeah. Oh, the shit, there's a tank on my left. Or to my left. Oh, come on. Everything is dead, but not the things that I'm interested in. Well, we can still kill his engine one more time. No? No? Alright. Worst part is... If I will move up. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I said, man. That this guy is going to go back for me. Pretty sure about yeah, and 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 well, he did. <laughs> Top tier gameplay right there, guys, right there. Pretty incredible, if you ask me. Shot Caldalet, do you got this guy? You should have this guy by the balls, right? Yeah, kill assist. There we go. Yo, man, I'm. Should I ignore this guy? Probably I shouldn't. Well, I really want to. Can also move, use our. Oh hey. Hello there. That's one. Unlucky bastard. Oh, that's another one. Hello. Gunner and engine. Haha. <laughs> and the trick here is. We are invisible to them, right? We should be invisible to them. Wait, is that guy? No. Oh. Uh, fuck my fat fingers. I have. Ah, I have all of this everywhere around me. Hey, did you just? Where from? From where? Holy hell! I think we are invisible to their thermal vision, but he somehow got me through the wreckage, probably. Alright, let's check that guy. That's, well, no one's there. Another R4 or R3 incoming. Oh, missed that guy. Alright. Oh! Last second heard that ATGM incoming. God damn it. Oh, he's going down, right? Oh no, not yet. Got him. <sighs> this Type 74 is somewhere around the beach area. He's just killing our guys on our spawn. They are losing, but the guy is spawn camping us. Can you? Yeah, that's just... God damn it, top tier! Why are you so cancerous? There's two guys spawn camping us. They lost Charlie and Bravo, but they are strongly spawn camping us. Ha <laughs> ha! Like, come on, man. Oh, there's a guy. Let's say hello. Hello. Let's just back up. I'm the last guy standing, really? Oh, no. That's... that's not good news, guys. That's not a good news. The enemy has most of the strategic zones. There we go. Got a track on this guy, let's back up. I hope he doesn't see me, right? Oh, yeah. Famous last words. <laughs> oh, a full up tier. We're playing 10.3. Interesting. Well, we have a proper shell. 
to get the job done. Kinda scary to know that there are Germans and Russians in the enemy team with 10.3 tanks. So there's that. <laughs> So that was pretty, pretty like, yeah, cool map design, T90 out. Missed that guy. And got killed by a Turms. The T90 guy has to be pissed. <laughs> Should I be that stupid and go there one more time? I might try. How the hell? Seen him for a second there, and then lost him again. No idea what is done. I'm just going to drop one there. The fact that I can't even think about going in here is crazy. Okay, that then went through the building. Sadly. Hey, there we go. Um, from where? No. Oh, whoa. oh, come on, man. Come on. T90 revenge. Incredible that it exploded on my gun barrel, but it still went through the turret, isn't it? That's pretty interesting. I don't even see him. That's the that's the problem. Oh wait, that's one. Right over there. Too late for me, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Yep. <laughs> they almost got me. With the rockets, well they got that guy. K-50 somewhere over there, alright. Alright, alright, alright. We have a chopper there. We got a kill assist on the... <laughs> alright. Come on, man. Yeah, we got a critical hit. He's going down. God damn it, I didn't... I didn't expect he's going to wait for me. So that sucks. No, he's going down, right? Come on, man. Go down. Oh, no. He did a soft landing. You can see here. Holy shit, what was that? What the hell was that? Oh, that was this guy. Engine, alright, yeah, we're out, we're out. I don't have... Yeah, that's a critical hit. Great, man. Incredible survivability on that BMP, I have to say, man. Crazy stuff. Alright, I lost a crew member, I think, there, but the Turns is out. Alright, Angels, watch out for me. Right, C point is decapped. Oh! And Angels are watching for me! Haha, <laughs> yeah! Oh no, not, not like that, Angel! Come on, man. What was that? That's an Ertrino? I have no idea what is that. Oh, there's a big NTR right next to me. I think. Oh my god. Yeah, man. I f***ed up. I didn't, I didn't check out that place. That's unfortunate. Let's go with the Typhoon. Maybe I will catch some planes. Let's go with like 800 meters and with trade. Well, 800? Nah, let's go for like 700. Alright. 
This guy is really slow now. There we go. That's one or four gun. With a 2.7 Typhoon, man. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else to do. Well, the round is over anyway. Alright. Oh, I mean, like, really, only one more game. And I'm done with this tank. Oh, a Berlin from the other side. Cool. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> That was funny, but probably only for me, but still. <laughs> That's uh, unfortunate for you, boy. That's another guy dead. Alright, let's move in, let's move in. Into the river we go. Can we go under? Yeah, alright. We can go under this place. Oof. I got scared there for a second. Alright, I'm taking the point. Let's move up here. Let's check that place. Hello there. Good sir. That's one. Do you have any more? Here? Kill assist for something. Another reason one is dead. Alright. Sounds fun. Should move up. Should move up. Should be right here, this place. Oh! Oh, come on, really? We got killed by the T-34? Oh, that's... Uh, what the hell is that? I don't see him. Man, there we go. That's a truck. A little bit higher, right there. There we go. I didn't see him on the on the <laughs> on the thermal thermal camera. Oh, thank you, small boy. That three four. Is that guy? Nah, he's dead, right? Yeah. Trepard got him. Oh, MBT seventy. Right there. Do you think he sees me? Nah, he didn't saw me. Ouch! What was that? What was that? there oh so yeah that happened all right we got a revenge with the t-54 missed that guy that guy is dead. Oh my god, my reel is absolutely... Incredibly not okay now. That's some smoke cover! That went well, didn't it? Oh, that's the guy I killed the cannon battle on him. Oh, P8. That was... A nice... <laughs> a nice sight. <laughs> with that... With that explosion, with that shockwave, actually. Oh, there's something in the air. That's a job for us. It's pretty close also. So let's go. We have the speed, we just have to get there. That's an IL-2, I think. 
Now there's an aisle too. Here and here, yes, 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 not interested, thank you. Oh, he just crashed. But we got on. <laughs> oh, that's the T-54 guy. Alright, that's understandable. So nice, we are playing 9.3, but we met another... Holy shit, that was good. We did meet... Oh, and he's, of course he's dead the second he kills me, he's, the, the, the guy is always dead. Alright guys, I'm really done. I am absolutely done with this tank. I don't like it. It's not for me. Alright, it's not for me. When I have the Chieftain MK10 on 9.0 with a 120mm gun, but this guy doesn't get up tier to 10.3. This guy doesn't get that much of an up tier, right? So yeah, I, I don't think I will be using this guy anymore when the 9.0 lineup is absolutely enough you get the chieftain mk10 you get the well this this light tank you get the warrior there you have a ruikat as a wheeled vehicle you have the chieftain marksman you have the atgm launcher you now the zt3a2 like what's what's the point of 9.3 that's the there's the single 9.3 tank in the british tech tree what's the point because i don't see a single reason to use this guy Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you had a good time. I actually, this time I didn't. I had a good time only when I was using the World War II plane Typhoon. I hope you had a nice time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers.